What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's video, I'm gonna go over a short checklist of what I did to now have over $100,000 per month in sales on eBay. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing. I recommend you watch all the way to the end of the video on this one because it really does sum up what I've done over the last year. So now I have 27,563 listings in my big store and the little store that I just started um, just hit 100 sales and it has 100 items listed and this new store is at $50 per day profit and my old store is at more than $3,000 every single day in sales and it's been at $100,000 a month in sales or more for a while now. But I want to go over what I've been doing to actually reach this. So number one, I found somebody who's been doing it for a long time at that level. So I have a Facebook group with my colleague Tekken Sports. Not only is he able to, he's been earning $100,000 a month or more on eBay for many years already, but maintaining a 34,000 item store like he does and 100% feedback is way more difficult than you think. I have 27,000 items and I can't, I can't keep 100% positive feedback because I can't keep up with the customer service. I actually have to scale my store down a little bit because I was trying to do what tech does and list over 200 items a day but honestly I'm not really at that level so I had to back up now I'm doing 150 a day and even though it may not look like it my store is a lot better than it used to be because 250 or over 200 that's me redlining and my car is about to blow up uh, 150 is me just moving at freeway pace so it is still hard but um, I can I can move forward at 150 per day and not have negative feedback all my negative feedback is from basically me doing a poor job of customer service and uh, not being able to maintain a high quality listing so this is what I mean by high quality listing this is really the difference between someone who's just starting and someone who's doing $100,000 per month is just the basics. Do you have a title that people can find? Do you know what items sell for you in particular? And certain items by Lane Bryant might never sell. This pre-owned tunic sold for $17 plus $8 shipping, which is $25, which in my opinion is awesome. This is like all the money for an item like this. This is something that anybody can find in any thrift store across America, a plus size tunic. Right, so, but actually selling it is a different story because you have to have the right title. I have 60 day returns. I ship things immediately. Um, I have all the measurements in it. And I feel like my listing quality is now much, much, much better. And it's because of a mind shift change. It's because now I'm trying to be the best version of myself. And to be honest with you guys, um, before this year, I was not trying to be the best version of myself. I was just just trying to get by. I think a lot of people have that mindset. Although being being in California, just getting by, you still should try to make over $100,000 because the cost of living here is much higher. So, but I still really consider myself just kind of skating by. I did not try to be the best version of myself until I joined this group with Tekken Sports because he is always trying to be the best version of himself and it translates into millions and millions of dollars in sales because the best version of you sitting at home right now is not where you are at. I'm just gonna be frank. Everyone listening to this call right now, you are not the best version of yourself. You're probably operating one-tenth of what you could be doing, right? But this video is meant to be positive. I know that it's inside you for this extra gear that you've, ne you've maybe never even been at that gear before. I have never operated this kind of gear where I'm basically Killing it on eBay, to be honest. Killing it on YouTube. Killing it with my family. I'm the healthiest I've ever been. I have more free time than than not not than ever, but I do have a fair amount of fair time, and a spare time. And I actually understand how eBay works as a lister. Not like I've always understood how eBay worked as far as like on paper, like what kind of things make it work, what kind of numbers make it work, but like the inner workings of how each particular item does in comparison. How does this Lane Bryant tunic compare to other Lane Bryant tunics? I actually know that now. I did not know that before. Before, I just was a numbers guy. So I realized that more listings equals more money. The main reason why I have over $100,000 in sales on eBay is because I have $600,000 worth of stuff listed. So if I sell 20% of my items, that's 120,000. So I only need to sell one sixth of my items to reach $100,000. It's just sheer volume is the reason why I'm getting that many that many sales, right? If you have a 200 item store, 
you can't expect to do $100,000 per month. So if you look at my ledger, I'm actually keeping track of um, every single penny. And after this experiment, which is going to take me a few months, at the end of the year, I will erase this and you guys will be able to just use this as a blank slate. Um, what I'm going to do is this month, my goal is to list 10 new items per day in this new store. And this store is at roughly $50 profit already per day. And it just started uh, 43 days ago. So my goal this month is to list 300 items and hopefully I'll have um, two or three thousand dollars profit this month. This September bubble right now that I have in the calculator is live. So, so far I have listed 64 new items. I have listed 23 days in a row. I have $974 profit this month so far, which is amazing because this is only day number nine and I've already made $974. So this new store has averaged over $50 profit, but this month already, it's already over $100 profit per day and it only has 100 items. The store is is killing it. I wish that my big store had the same quality as my um, little store. The little store, obviously it's easier to maintain 100 listings than 27,000, but I wanna maintain this level of attention to detail so this month I'm gonna go easy and do 10 listings per day plus I'm still working with a limited budget after this month though this store will have more money than um, it'll have more money than I need to spend to, to do 30 listings per day um, I only needed if you go to the um, FU calculator and reseller FU to me means that you can say FU to your nine to five job and work for yourself according to this calculator um, I need $2,293 in order to build enough inventory in this store to reach $1,000 per week in income. And I've already made $1,600 in profit. So if I didn't do anything and just waited till all the items sold, I would have the, the almost $3,000 I need to buy inventory to make this store make $1,000 um, per week. But since I'm continuing to roll it in, um, I'm going to essentially bump it up to 30 listings per day starting next month. And at that at that point, um, the store should make two thousand dollars per month or per week in, in profit or one hundred thousand per year, because that's more realistic where I live for reseller FU in the Bay Area you, where I live. You need to make at least one hundred thousand. Otherwise, you're probably still worrying about money. So. I'm gonna bump it up there and then after the end of the year, I probably won't keep track anymore um, line by line because I, I really do understand how the fees work now. So I'll list 30 a day for three months. And since the sell through rate on this store is so fast, at that point, I'll be at reseller Nirvana. So I'll be listing 900 items per month and selling 900 items per month for at least $9,000 profit per month, which is six figures. So. Um, Doing it line by line, I recommend for every single beginner out there because if you do this, okay, like if you wanted to be a photographer and you learned what every single button on the camera does and you went out and took shots in different kinds of light and you took shots of people and you took shots of animals and you took shots of sports and you learned everything there is about being a photographer in the field, okay, then I'm pretty confident that you could make a living as a portrait photographer or a sports photographer or whatever you wanted to do if you knew how to do all those different settings and how every single button works. But if you read about photography or watch videos on photography, that doesn't really mean anything because you don't know how to do it in the field. And that's what a lot of resellers are like. I call that armchair reselling, right? So don't be an armchair reseller. Be in the field, on be an on-field reseller. Get out there, figure out what I'm talking about when I mean relevant, complete title, competitive prices, accurate photos, accurate item specifics. If you look through my store, um, the old listings that have renewed have the white background, but with the exception of the um, listings with the white background, almost all my listings look the same, and I'm working on it, right? There's Obviously, there's going to be people who watch this video and go through my store and find a few listings that are not 100% accurate, but I'm not pretending to be perfect on YouTube. I'm not. There's probably thousands of listings that are still wrong in my big store. In my little store, though, it's pretty good. Um, I haven't seen too many errors in this store because it only has 102 items. So if you want to see what's sold, go to the left side, click sold. Um, you can scroll down and see I've sold books, I sold sweaters. 
uh, I sold Pokemon plush, which I think a uh, YouTube subscriber sent me one to replace it because I was pretty bummed out because uh, this this Pokemon for some reason is in my top viewed video. So it's kind of sentimental, but I wanted to sell things that I own around the house to get started in the store. And I did. This store was completely built from zero, just selling stuff around the house, getting that velocity going, sold a pair, a couple of shoes that I used to, that I no longer wear, basically sold everything that I don't use in my house. And it's been, that's been freeing too, because I don't, I only have two pairs of shoes right now, a pair of running shoes and a pair of walking shoes. All my other shoes were sold in the store. So um, I don't collect shoes anymore. I'm over it. So everything just went into the store to build this experiment. And this store in 43 days essentially made $3,100 profit starting with zero. Selling stuff around the house. I did a bunch of different um, versions of being creative. I did consignment. I got some stuff out of the trash. I sold stuff around the house. I went to the flea market. I did garage sales. I did the Goodwill bins, which I recommend is what most people should do. If you live within three hours of a Goodwill bins, I would drive there spend as little as you can on inventory to get started even if you started with a hundred thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars you know there are for what it's worth um the story where i was talking about where people are losing their jobs because they're they're not getting vaccinated is is actually happening so i don't really care about the politics of that but i'm just letting people know right now that people are becoming resellers right now and sometimes from positions where they were earning great money. So somebody who was earning 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars per month is now entering in the resale world, which a lot of the people who start with reselling, they can't get a normal job, so they resell on the side either because they they're not physically able to get another job, or maybe they whatever reason that makes it so they can't get a normal job, they're reselling. So all of those people, and now there's a lot of professionals entering in the market right doctors lawyers professionals nurses accountants bankers they're all entering in the resale world so just remember i think i think that right now is the best time to sell on ebay and it's going to get harder and harder and harder in the future to um to earn money on ebay because it's going to get more competitive so the people who are in the facebook group with me and are really taking this serious and trying to be the best version of themselves and not just getting by those are the people that are going to win long term and um, if you're trying to be the best version of yourself, most people, that's going to kill it in life, in business, and it's going to be something powerful. So one more uh, bonus, and I'm going to put that, I'm going to just throw it out there. This going to be hard to guess, but the person that guesses the first movie I've ever seen in the movie theater, I will PayPal you cash $100. So go ahead and put it in the comments section below. I'm not going to give any hints and see if people can can kind of figure it out. Um, but it was a long time ago. That's the only that's the only hint I'm going to give you guys. Uh, actually, I'll give you a pretty good hint. Uh, more than 10 years ago, right? So what movie was the first movie I watched in person in the movie theater? You can guess that first. I will PayPal you $100. Um, I'll even do two people. If two people guess it, I'll give you guys $100 each. And uh, I think it's going to be really hard. I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to guess the first movie that I saw in the theater. And I'll continue to uh, give hints until somebody actually guesses it right. So I appreciate you guys. Again, the short checklist of making $100,000 a month on eBay is find someone that already is doing that, right? Then be the best version of yourself. Make a schedule. Maintain your schedule. Become the best at listing. Get the best selection of items. Those are really, really ridiculously hard. Okay? Like, only maybe 20 people who watch this video will actually be able to pull that off. Be really, really good at listing and have the biggest selection. Okay? By, by definition, that's like level 10 out of 10 difficulty. Um, make the best listings you can. And then... This is the last thought I have, which is people who work over 20 hours a week typically make twice as much money as people who work less than 40 hours a week. So it's like once you are an expert in a field, if you're working 50 plus hours in a field doing one thing, the chances of you crushing all your competition is so high. So if you could focus 
50 plus hours into your eBay business in a singular niche for a while. After you become an expert, maybe you can take your foot off the gas and you don't have to work so hard, but I'm just being honest with you guys. If you spend 50 plus hours a week on one category, it's unlikely you won't figure, you'll figure out everything about the category, where the items come from, who's selling it, who's selling it well, what words work. If you don't know why your listings are not selling, you're a beginner. I said it because if I know why my listings don't sell, it's because one of the things we were talking about in this video was wrong. It's either priced wrong, the pictures are terrible, the title is not good, um, maybe there's not enough demand in that category. Maybe there's too much supply in the category. I, I know exactly why my listings don't sell. I'm never wondering like, oh, I don't know what happened. That's never, that doesn't happen because I know, I know the categories that I sell in. I never wonder why my sales are slow. I, my sales equal my effort. So if I'm not having a lot of sales, that means I'm not putting enough effort in. That's really not, if you send your store for me to review, it's just going to be these four things. Your title is not going to be accurate or relevant. Your, your price is going to be too high or too low in some cases. Your photos aren't going to be accurate enough and your item specifics are going to be incorrect. That's really it, right? So you don't need to buy a store review from any online guru. All you need to do is be the best at those four things. But I'm telling you guys, being the best at those four things is insanely difficult. You're going to have to put in potentially 50 plus hours in for a couple of years to really become an expert in your field. So I appreciate you guys. Please smash the like button, consider subscribing. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And I meet a lot of resellers who do that. They've been selling on eBay for 20 years, but they only have one year of experience repeated 20 times. They keep doing the same exact thing. They don't improve. This channel is called Daily Refinement because over the last five years, I've gone from one listing to 27,000 listings. I've gone from $0 and struggling to over $100,000 per month in sales. So I appreciate you guys. Please smash the like button. Consider subscribing. Join my Facebook group. I'll see you guys later.